Hello everyone and welcome back to the BS Review. Today we are here kicking off a new series and we are here today with a book review of The Shining by Stephen King. This is kicking off a Dr. Sleep series. Dr. Sleep the film by Mike Flanagan comes out very soon and so we're gonna go, we went back and we read The Shining. We're gonna review the movie and do an analysis of the movie with the book and then move on to Dr. Sleep and do the same thing with those two. So we're very excited for this series. Stephen King is one of our favorite authors, and as you can tell on the channel, we have a lot of Stephen King-related content, and so let's jump in. We are in the golden age of Stephen King adaptations, I would like to say, so it was interesting this time to go back to um, something that is much older of his works and an older adaptation, which obviously we're not talking about the film in this video, but that will be our next video going up. So if you're unfamiliar with this story, this is about a family, a husband, wife, and son, and the husband gets the opportunity to be a caretaker at this Overlook Hotel up in Colorado over the winter when everything shut down, hotel's empty, and he just kind of needs to keep it running and make sure nothing like breaks down and whatnot uh, while he's there. And his son ends up having a special clairvoyant type ability and shenanigans and spooks and interesting things happen along the way. So this book review is going to be pretty spoiler free. The spoilers spoiler will, free. yeah, the spoilers are going to come in our booked movie analysis that we like to do in our next video, but we still want to talk about the plot. I actually feel like this is one of Stephen King's better paced and plotted out book books. Everything feels necessary and like it's moving the story forward. And this story moves forward at like a breakneck pace. You end up getting a lot of time squished into not too big of a book for how much they cover. I would say the beginning of this book was still a little bit slow, uh, but I think that's pretty typical of this kind of genre. You've got the slow, creepy buildup, and then it really picks up in the second half. But it definitely wasn't as slow as I expected it to be based on Stephen King's previous work, such as Pet Cemetery. So it definitely drew you in a lot quicker than I was expecting. I really like the world building in this novel as well. It's a very interesting concept. And The Shining is a lot different than, I guess, what I had my preconceptions of it going in. Because I really didn't have a whole lot of knowledge about what this book was truly about. Besides the hotel and the things you know from the popular movie. But I was actually very impressed and surprised with where this plot went. So we definitely want to talk about the characters in this book. I would say this is a very character-driven story. It definitely has a lot of plot, but the characters are absolutely crucial. It's not one of those stories where, like, the plot would progress without the characters. No, the characters very, very important. And as with most Stephen King stories, the setting is a character in a way. You know, with It, you have Derry as a character. Yeah, a lot of times with Stephen King, his settings, his towns, whatever, are a character in and of themselves. And that is definitely the case with this book. And in this case, it is the Overlook Hotel. The hotel is a character and it is one of my favorites out of all of his stories. I love a good like haunted house story and this is just a haunted hotel story. And then you also have the parents, Jack and Wendy, and I actually really liked the way they portrayed both these characters in the book. I felt like Jack's uh, de-evolution into madness, I don't feel like it's really a spoiler since like the movie's so popular. Everyone knows that they actually handled this so well and just seeing him slowly lose piece by piece of himself was done so well in this book. And to counteract that, you have Wendy, who is, starts as a pretty flat character, but she ends up being a really strong, you know, driven character, and I was actually very surprised by that, and I really liked, she was one of my favorite characters in this book for how she responded to events and how quick she was on her toes to respond in a very strong, sometimes aggressive way when she needed to. She's definitely one of those characters that's soft and strong at the same time, and I think Stephen King balances that very well with her character. The parents are definitely two characters that I think you could do some really interesting character studies on, and I'm sure there are those out there to look up if you're interested. And then we have the child, Danny, who has the clairvoyant ability, and he is much more of a crucial character in the story than I expected going into this book. I know that Dr. Sleep focuses on him, but I was surprised by a sequel focusing on him because watching the movie originally, I didn't really like think that he was that big of a deal. And then you go into the book and you're like, oh, Danny is the book. He is important. And I really enjoyed his character that having children in stories 
be dealing with such adult topics and dealing with such like big ramifications it's very hard to balance and still keep that like childlike wonder while also throwing them into these situations and still having it be appealing to adults room by emma donahue is another book that does it beautifully and i think stephen king really nailed it in this book so everyone knows that stephen king is a very accomplished writer but i actually really loved his writing style in this book, especially compared to some of his other works. I really felt like the way he described things in this novel was so scary and spooky and really gets like the little things tingling on the back of your neck while you're reading because some of these scenes are just like the details are so vivid when you're reading that it was actually a really spooky book and I I thought it was really well written. Stephen King is excellent at setting atmospheres and that is no different in this book and I think this is one of his best in setting like atmosphere and just ominous feelings and like Stephen said it is very descriptive as a book reader you want to get those like movies playing in your head kind of effect and this book 100% does that you can picture the whole thing. In fact in this case for a lot of times when I've seen the movie first and then read the book a lot of times the movie images will kind of take over what I'm picturing from the book and I did not find that to be the case so much in this one. I found myself coming up with very original visuals in my head for this story and I think that's completely because of how Stephen King writes and how descriptive and detailed and just sucked in you get with his writing. As we previously said we've consumed a lot of Stephen King at this point. We've done a lot of deep dives into his work. We'll link a few of them down in the description and up in the cards if you're interested. Um, so we didn't feel like it was right to discuss this book without comparing it to some of his others, which I know we've already touched on a little bit. But I think that this book is one of his best, honestly, and I bop around the internet it doesn't seem like everyone feels that way, which is interesting to me because I definitely give this a five stars. It's probably my top five of Stephen King that we've read so far. And I think that for his works, like we said, it's paced a lot better than a lot of his other ones. The ending is excellent, which tends to be a sticky subject with Stephen King. <laughs> um, so I was just very impressed by how Stephen King this felt, but how elevated it felt within his works. So ultimately, we both really enjoyed this book. It's one of the best books I've read all year and one of the best Stephen Kings we've read. And I'm really excited to go through the rest of this series and see what the sequel's like, because I know nothing about Doctor Sleep, because I do have ideas of like The Shining from the film, but nothing for Doctor Sleep. Now, if you've been around our book to movie adaptation series before, you'll know that we typically do a giveaway and that this case is no different. We are giving away this time a paperback version of The Shining by Stephen King. They are very gently used because we did read through these, but they're in excellent condition. So if you're interested, please enter the giveaway. We will have the link down below. It is going to be US only. I apologize to our international friends. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of our videos, particularly more of our Dr. Sleep series. We will definitely be releasing a few more videos over the next two weeks leading up to Dr. Sleep, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye, guys.